don't ever ask me to fax anything. Hey Rockstars, welcome back to the videospot.net and today I'm doing a quick little tutorial on how to get signatures faster because signatures are the like cornerstone, the capstone of getting a deal. And anytime a deal falls through, you'll find that it's largely because you didn't get a signature or you didn't have a strong enough contract in place to get a signature. So today I'm going to talk about how to get a signature faster so that you're not having to fax documents back and forth like it's 1923. Now, there are a couple different programs to help you with this. We use a program called HelloSign. So that's what I'm going to show you on today. We're going to go to my computer. I'm going to show you how it works and then uh, we'll come back here and we'll wrap it up. Okay, so I'm here in my Microsoft Word documents and I'm ready to export this to the client in order to get a signature. So you can see that I've kind of made, this is like my template, like my template contract for a video marketing thing. And here you can see I need two places for a signature. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go to my account at HelloSign. And I get there by going to hellosign.com. I've already set up an account there, but it is, you do get to send three documents for free every single month. So I have this free account as a backup, but I also have an upgraded account, which it's not that much. So it's like 13 bucks a month. And if you're sending a lot of documents like us, then it helps. So then you're gonna pick out what you need to do. Is it just you that's signing or is it you and other people or is it just other people? So in this case, it's going to be me and other people are signing. And here's where it's beautiful. See, it integrates into all of these like OneDrive and Dropbox and Google Drive. And I love the Google Drive feature. It, it's actually really great. I haven't used it for Dropbox and OneDrive, but I am using a lot more OneDrive. I don't wanna take time on this video setting that all up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and upload the file naturally and I'm going into, and you can see that I've got just the Word file right there. I didn't even convert it into a PDF. See, and it's, it's doing all of this for me. And now it's asking me who needs to sign. So I need to sign, but I also need Susan. I need my client to sign. You can, you can do some other neat features here, which I rarely do. Now, prepare docs for signing. This is like where the magic happens, okay? So it just pulled in my exact same file. You can see that it kind of tweaked the, um, the, the copy around a little bit. But then what you're gonna do is pull in the signatures, right? So I, I go up here to where it says signature and I'm dragging that into where I want her to sign. Now this says Owen Hempstead signature, but I can go I can go right here and make it for Susan to sign, and I make it required. I also I tend to stretch oops I tend to stretch this out a, a little bit more to make it you know bigger, so there's just like more space there. And then I'm gonna go pull another signature down, and it's gonna come in in the same size and I'm gonna go for me and I'm gonna sign it now so that my signature is there. I have already set this up, but you can set yourself up with it. You can upload a file that you've signed, which I think is really cool, or you can just use kind of their, their hand signature, um, uh, you know, template in there. And so now who fills this out? Susan's gonna fill that out and then I'm gonna fill this out right now. And then I'm gonna go continue. So my doc is ready for signing. And then what I'm gonna do is just write her a little message. I'll put something like video spot proposal uh, for Gemperly. And then I'm gonna go, you know, hey Susan, uh, we, you know, we got everything in place and we're ready to go. So you can now sign the document, it's easy as that. Now, once you press that send message, what's gonna happen is it's gonna send the client an email with a link to an online document that they can then sign right from their computer and they can sign a couple different ways. Um, they can type in their name and it will it will print it out in like a, a neat little signature type of font like I did on the video 
Um, they can sign with their with their finger if they're on mobile or a tablet, and they can sign with their mouse if they're on a laptop. And the best part about all of this is that it's legally verifiable, so these documents will stand up in court. For example, in the back end of a low sign, you get a paper trail that shows which IP address it went to at what time and that sort of thing. And so you're able to, to use these documents um, to protect yourself legally. Now, this can be really frustrating when you're dealing with people that are kind of afraid of technology. And we're, we're unfortunately still at that place in our, in our culture where, you know, there, there's an older demographic that doesn't care to use this kind of stuff. I, I say don't let it stop you. If somebody faxes you or emails you a document and says, I need you to print it out, sign it, and then fax it, you can upload that document directly to HelloSign, put your signature in, and email it back to them, and they've got everything that they need. So it's a great program. I hope that it helps you out, and uh, thank you so much for watching.